When I do the custom white balancing, well, I have to use calibration tools that are completely neutral. This is the gray dome and this is the opaque dome. They're both used for color calibration. This one is reflective, so you would measure the light bouncing off of your subject. And this one is incident, which means that you'd be, uh, balan you'd be measuring the light coming onto your subject. And you'll notice that they're both half round. And that's a common characteristic in all color meters or light meters in general is that they're half round. But oddly enough, all of the other color calibration tools today are flat. The gray card is flat and the expo disc is flat. The problem with that is if you move a flat plane in any direction, it will bias toward the light that's coming in that direction. So when you have a half dome, it will measure equally all the light around it. If you Google what creates soft lighting, of course, they'll always say it's the larger the light source, the softer the light, which is why you'll see a lot of times photographers have like these huge 10-foot umbrellas or something like that to make the most beautiful lighting. Well, that's not practical in a lot of situations with speed lights, and therefore you want to have the largest one that you can, the softest one that you can, but large means that it could fall off, and that's the secret behind the mounting system. Now, this is such a strong uh, set up that I'm literally picking up the entire camera and tripod and everything just by the diffuser itself. Now I designed the light blade for the photography enthusiast or even professional who doesn't want to go into the full-blown light sphere system and wants to get a really great diffuser at a low cost and with maximum portability. The shape of it is basically the same as the shape of the flash that goes out, the beam that comes out of the flash. What I wanted to do was I wanted to use that light though it's coming out of the flash, capture it in a very nice diffuse material. It is halfway across the face of the light, which is great because that allows for a lot of the light to go and fill the ceiling. A lot of this beautiful light comes from the height of the light away from the lens, which makes that modeling nicer. One of the things that you'll always find about Gary Fong diffusers is that they're very nicely mounted. They are not going to fall off no matter how much uh, stress you put on it. If you're gonna use the pop-up flash, you get this very harsh, specular little um, spot of light, which is very flashlight in, in the way that it looks. And it gives you uh, possibly red eye and um, just not that, that nice of a softness. Whereas when you put the Puffer Plus on, you get this very large three inch by four inch semi-round shield, which does a really good job of il illuminating your subjects with a much more flattering uh, type of look. Hi, this is Gary Fong, and welcome to my new premium video channel. Discover our Unleash the Power series, where we show you how to configure and set up your Sony camera to make the most of its powerful features. Imagine learning how to work your new camera with an online interactive virtual camera. Simply click on any of the buttons or scroll through the different menu items. Whatever feature you select, this virtual camera will launch a comprehensive video guide. Alternatively, you can watch our extended length video, which includes hours of detailed instruction and a lecture on your camera's standout features. Our goal is to show you in extremely detailed explanations and live shooting situations how to optimize your camera to take advantage of all its features. I unlock secrets hidden inside these cameras, which are never explained in the small owner's manuals. Subscribe to our premium channel and unleash your creativity at GaryFong.com